I'm going to be judgmental here. I think that if you're a black person, I think you you have a responsibility to represent, uh, you know, your people in a positive light. For me growing up um, in the 60s and 70s, reading comics and not seeing black characters, um, what was not shown were black characters. So we, what we saw, we thought was normal. So if you saw some, if you were to see a black character, you think that that's something other. So there we are again, being identified as being other. After being a young person reading comics as a fan, I didn't re realize that there was something missing until Milestone appeared. You know, and I didn't realize that I was missing from comics, you know, when Milestone appeared, that I could actually be a part of it and produce comic books where characters looked like me and came from similar backgrounds. You know, prior to that, it was Superman. You know, I'm not a farmer from Kansas, so as, as much as that's like a great fantasy, like I couldn't necessarily relate to what he did on, on, the, on his downtime. It's important to know that black artists are out there creating. I think it's it says something, just like John Jennings was saying, by not, you know, not having something there says something as strongly, and not having black people as a presence in comics says something very strongly. When we put pressure on black writers to write about black issues, why don't we do that for everybody else? If what we're talking about is equality of treatment, then the responsibility is the same responsibility with any writer, which is to do your best. It might be harder to expect for it to be harder because historically we've not been included in this industry. And when we've been included, it's not always been in ways that we've wanted to be included. You have this story that you need to tell. That, that features characters that you give a damn about. That's the most important thing, you know? Make them black, make them purple, make them green. It doesn't matter. Just tell a goddamn story. <laughs> All your TED Talks, you know, New York Times. Uh, I'm going to the White House in another, uh, this weekend I'll be leaving for the White House to do cartooning stuff at the White House. So you do what you know, you stick what you're good at. I, if I died today and came back as another, another uh, person, a, cho a choice of who I would be in this life, I'd still be a brother. I still want to come back as this. A situation that gives young people an opportunity to see how exceptional they can be. I think you need to know the struggle that we've happened that's happened here, the things we've had to overcome that in some ways are just as superhuman as anything that Superman would ever do.